The example is as follows. A 400 megawatt coal power plant has 37% efficiency and burns anthracite coal which is a high grade coal with heating value of 29 megajoules per kg. So this coal basically uh, when burned gives 29 megajoules of, uh, per kg of heat. So this is already given. The coal contains 94% carbon by weight and 12% sulfur by weight. Fine. During combustion, NO2, which is another nitro nitrogen oxide, is formed at the rate of 0.02% of the formation rate of CO2. So determine the amount of CO2, SO2, NO2 that is emitted by the power plant Per day. Right? Right? So, what what information do we have? The power generation rate of this power plant is four hundred megawatts. Okay, so four hundred megajoules per second of electrical energy is being generated per unit time per second. It has thirty seven percent efficiency. So, we can find the heat production rate in this power plant as well. And this burning anthracite coal, which is 29 megajoules per kg, is its heating value. That is the amount of heat liberated when it when 1 kg of this coal is burnt is 29 megajoules. Fine. So now since you know the amount of heat that is uh, produced within this power plant per second from the efficiency value, and you know the amount of heat that 1 kg of coal generates, you can find the amount of coal needed per second in this power plant. You also know the mass space percentage of carbon and sulfur in this coal. So based on that you can find the amount of carbon and sulfur that is being uh, that is present in per kg of coal. So how much carbon and sulfur is burnt and based on that you can then find the weights of CO2 and SO2 that is being emitted. And it also says that 0 .0, uh, NO2 is being formed at the rate of production of 0.02% of how much CO2 is being formed. So from that you can get the amount of NO2. So that's what we will do next. So we have W dot as 400 megawatts. And efficiency eta is W dot by Q dot equals to 0 0.37 which means q dot is 1081 megawatts so net heat input 
by combustion per day needed by this plant is q dot per day 1081 megawatts this is per second into 60 seconds into 60 so this is hours so this is minutes this is hours into 24 hours in a day so this becomes equals to 93.4 into 10 to the power 6 mega joules per day Heating value of coal is 29 megajoules per kg. So, total coal supply being burnt per day in dot coal is the amount of heat required so 93.4 into 10 to the power 6 megajoules per day divided by 29 megajoules per kg so this is megajoules per day and this is megajoules per kg which gives you 3.22 into 10 to the power 6 kg Per day of coal. Now one ton is ten to the power three kgs, so this is equals to three two two zero tons of coal per day. Now carbon is 94% of this coal, correct. So m dot c is 0 0.94 into m dot coal is equals to 3.03 .03 into 10 to the power 6 kg of carbon per day is being burned. So now CO2 emitted per day then becomes m dot CO2 equals to 44 by 12 m dot C equals to 11.1 into 10 to the power 6 kg of CO2 per day. So again if I write this in tons for 11,100 tons of CO2 per day. So that is the amount of CO2 that is being emitted by this coal power plant per day. Just consider that how much CO2 is being emitted okay. on a daily basis by a Average sized coal power plant with typical efficiencies. Now, M dot NO2 is 0.02% of M dot CO2. That is 0 0.02 into 10 to the power minus 2 into M dot CO2. We have already evaluated m dot co2, so we can just multiply all of this to get 2.22 into 10 to the power 3 kg of no2 per day or 2.22 tons of no2 is being emitted per day. Okay. Smaller amount, but NO2 is significantly more harmful as a pollutant producing acid rain, smog, etc. So, not that small amount when you, when you think of it.
Now I made a mistake previously, uh, just I want to correct this. This is not 12 percent sulfur, this is 1.2 percent sulfur. You do not have that much sulfur in there, four. so 1.2 percent sulfur. Please correct that mistake for writing the notes. So, m dot s is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 into m dot 4. Again, you can calculate this directly to get 38.64 tons of sulfur per day. Now, uh, for, when it comes to sulfur, 32 kg of sulfur produces 64 kg of SO2. So, S goes to SO2, correct? This is 32 kg, this is 64 kg. So, M dot SO2 is basically 2 into M dot S, which becomes 77.3 tons of SO2 being emitted per day. So, this way we get an estimate of how much this coal power plant is emitting on a per day basis. So, this is a brief tutorial uh, and it is it for that is it for today. Uh, hopefully, that makes a good idea of what kind of examples you can do using the information that is provided so far. In the next uh, class, we will have a discussion on uh, the impact of CO2. So, as you saw, the amount of CO2 produced is quite large and we have discussed all the other pollutants. We have not discussed CO2 and its effect on global warming. So, that is the one that we will discuss in the next class. So, thank you for listening and have a great day.